Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about Rider. I'm going to be going over my one year review of Rider, what makes it stand out, what are the great benefits of it, and what are the hard downsides to using it, because there are some. So I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute, and let's get started. So the very first thing you want to, uh, when you go to Rider, is this is what the dashboard looks like. And one of the benefits of this is that it has unlimited. I mean, if you if you pay for the higher tier plan, you get unlimited. See the unlimited plan. A lot of AIs, what they do is they have a credit based system and a monthly based system stacked on top of each other, which make things very very. Um, I guess it it makes the software very weak. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to explain this to you. This looks like a very simple thing, but look, look at another company that's uh, well-known, Jasper, right? You go to the boss mode, even if you pay 100 bucks, you're not even going to get unlimited. And that's very important. You might think, oh, who needs unlimited? Well, you, I'm about to show you why this unlimited feature of Rider is very beneficial. So let me go down to the um, <clears throat> interface, and I'm going to pretend that I want to write a topic about this website right here. So let me control C, control V, and show you what it, what it is. <clears throat> Let's say I want to write something specific, not, nothing about, nothing generic about a talking avatar. Uh, I'm not login. It's a, it's a text-to-speech avatar creator. I, I don't want to have to write everything out from scratch. Now what I do, oops, what I do is <clears throat> I enter the URL in here and I put the keyword in here and then I put max variant and I put medium creativity. I click on write for me. And what you're going to find out is it takes multiple iterations for the AI to figure out which one you want to talk about. Right? So it has this one. It's an AI powered avatar that can talk to you about your life and help you with your goals. Nope, that's not true. So this is wrong, right? This is not. This is talking about some other software. Uh, okay, this one <clears throat> is a new web app that allows users to create customized talking avatars. It's relatively new service that allows users to create custom animated avatars themselves for use on social media, YouTube. You can users can upload a photo of themselves and customize the avatar in order to create an animated version of those. Yeah, um, this is true. Okay, and then this one right here, Talking Avatar is a website that allows you to create an avatar of yourself and then animate the avatar giving the ability to speak. Yeah, this is more true. All right, so <clears throat> the thing I, the thing I'm trying to get here is look how much text I had to go through in order to get the right one. All right, so if I was to do the same thing, you know, this is like how many how many words right here, 838 words to get to the correct um, description. So basically, I'm paying the AI to learn, and, and I'm basically burning money to get the correct text. If I was a, and this is okay if I'm using you know, Writer because it's unlimited, so it doesn't, doesn't matter if, if I have to go through a few wrong descriptions to get the right one. But let's say I'm using another one that's thought Jasper, and you only have 100 words. Well, I just burnt 800 to maybe 1,000 words just on training the AI, just just to get it to write the right uh, topic. So how is that fair, right? So I'm I'm basically burning. There's a lot of inefficiency built into here. So I, I basically burn money down the drain if it's a credit based system, and I have to pay monthly, which is is just not fair. So that's why the unlimited plan for writer is very very ben beneficial because what most people don't know about AI content writers is that it takes a warm up period when it comes down to uh, writing something specific, right? When you, when I'm writing about a website, or I'm writing about a product, well, uh, which is what a lot of people like to talk about sometimes, uh, I I don't want to write it from scratch. So this right here, where I can just enter the link and burn maybe 800, 800 words to a thousand words, that's fine, unlimited, no problem. When it comes on the credit based system, I'm wasting money and they're basically taking money from me. So that's the number one beneficial uh, use of Rider. I, I thought the Unlimited was a nice bonus, but now I, I think it's a must-have on any kind of AI Rider tool because of this warm warm-up period. All right, the next uh, benefit of using Rider after a year that I really liked is that it's uh, 
evolving and it's adaptable. What I mean by that is if I go to writer and let me go down, I want to create my own use case. Let's say none of the, the things that they have here, I can go ahead and uh, click on create and I can add whatever special uh, use case I want and it will go ahead and, and gear the content towards my specific task which is really neat. Now what I did was I, I made a recipe generator right, right here and uh, this is just for me trying to test out to see if I wanted to do a uh, what do you call it a, a recipe a cooking channel all right so for those of you who who want to do custom use cases this is this is also very important because it makes the tool more flexible and adaptable for changing times let's say uh, I'm done with my cooking show or cooking channel and I want to do something on uh, news well I can go ahead and, and, and customize um, writer to go ahead and write news articles for me so long and, and I don't even need to co need coding or anything I just go ahead and and, and submit the uh, custom use case here and then within a few days it gets approved and I can go ahead and use it like normal so that's a great thing because it makes this tool constantly relevant constantly um, adaptable and, and, and it can shift to whatever your needs are and the last thing I like is the interface so if I go to writer uh, if I want to change a piece of content I can go ahead and just scroll down and it, that, that and then type in the the information here within one section right here I don't have to jump over back and forth left and right up and down none of that I just click and drag and drop and uh, sorry click and, and scroll down and, and select what I need so that, that that's the the other thing is that the interface is very easy to use and streamline now let me go with the downside the downside to using Rider is that their customer service after a year, I'm not sure if it's because they think they're, they don't need, uh, maybe it became, they became bigger or popular and they, they don't think that uh, they can fail. So their customers are very arrogant. But um, I had an issue where, you know, when I'm, um, re I often refer a Rider because it's a good, it's a good product. I believe in the product. I use the product, as you can see, uh, quite often. But you know, when I had an issue with the the affiliate offer, like I, I had uh, issues with their their software. So when, what I did was when I was going through the affiliate uh, program, I noticed that. Let me show you what that looks like here. Um, right here, no, no, right here. Okay, I noticed that the the. Uh, referral was zero okay so I was getting you know it, it showed up this error message here let me show you what that looks like it was this one right here so when I when I went to the referral section this is this is what it looked like I had 30 conversions but when I went to the referral section it had zero this is what showed up right, I'm like what what happened to all my referrals and you know I was supposed to have 30 like list right here and then when I when I asked them about that I sent them an email this is what I got it, it was really it was really sad so I sent the question here right as you can see hi I would like to ask why someone deleted all my referrals I had 30 of them um, but today when I checked I found none of them this makes me nervous about the affiliate program as it relies on trust I attached both images and a video feedback to explain things in more detail which I just showed you earlier this is her response Miss Keetri all right and this is this is this person here I assume okay Miss Keetri, Keetri P she, she texted me this wonderful message hello hope you're doing well since our affiliate program is hosted on a third-party website we request you reach out to reward for directly to get this resolved it's like wait a minute i'm i'm promoting your product this is your affiliate this is your affiliate software not mine and i, I have all my my referrals deleted and i'm i'm worried and stressed and you're telling me it's not my problem that's that's her right here okay she's saying oh it's, it's basically not not my problem third party go deal with it yourself luckily and, and the thing is when i went to reward reward for the contact detail was very, very hard to, to find. Like it was almost hidden. So then I asked her, like, how can you, you know, how could you be so rude? All right. So I, I even tell him directly, let me get this straight. One of your affiliates has all of their referrals deleted, and you're telling me it's not your problem? 
and that I should go reward for it and fix it myself? First of all, I've already tried contacting them and th- there's no contact method available. I had to really like sc- scrape to go find the contact information. Secondly, your statement about going to fix it myself is rude. Right? If you can if you can have it done yourself, right? if I could, if I could have done it myself, I would have I would have done it by already. Why would I ask you to help fix fix this uh this issue? Right? And then and then for you to tell me it's a third party software, not your problem? So this was very very rude of Miss Kitri, uh, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it correctly. All right, very rude of Ryder. Um, she made Ryder look horrible. Like this this line right here just shows she doesn't care. Like I, she doesn't care about her affiliates that that help um, kind of promote the software. And if they don't care about us, and we're 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 the ones that are helping her, her and her company makes the cash for the software then what do you think is going to happen when it comes down to the customers who you know make less even make less money for them right individual customers pay less affiliate affiliate uh, uh, sales we, we 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 actually bring them more money than the customers I, and i'm happy to be both and this is the the the, the result you get from you know miss Keetree right here right that's horrible that is absolutely horrible and there's no apology, no nothing. So when it comes down to Ryder, um, I still like I like the unlimited feature. Okay, I'll tell you that after one year. The unlimited plan is really good because I told you earlier, you need a warm-up phase in order to write specific or technical topics. You need a warm-up phase for that. So you're going to be burning um, quite a bit of text all right, to get the, to get the AI to write the correct one. And the second thing I really like is that you can get the custom tool. Uh, let me go back real quick. Custom use tool. So it's always adaptable, evolving, and changing. And the last thing is the interface is very easy to use. Everything is just, you know, click, click, uh, and scroll down, and, and you're there. Now, the, the, but the downside is pretty bad, too. The downside is uh, Miss Critchie's, uh, you know, customer service is horrible. Telling, telling, your, telling your customer that is freaking out about not having their uh, revenue that they, they need to go talk to the third-party website directly and get it fixed because we don't care, essentially, is what they're saying. That, that's horrible. That, that is absolutely horrible. So um, be warned that you know, this, this software and this, this company might be changing in a not-so-good way. Uh, so I'm always on the lookout. L- lots of things change within the AI space, and a lot of people ask me why. Why does the best or top uh, AI content writer change every so often? It's because I'm always testing out new software, and uh, companies don't remain the same. When this company first started out, it was very polite, you know, because it was growing. And then once you know it got big, it, you know, it becomes, I guess. Uh, you know, inefficient. A lot of companies that grow big often change, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. In this case, this became for the worse. Uh, this is just unacceptable behavior by Miss Creature from Ryder. So um, don't, just just remember that, you know, just because a software is good today doesn't mean it's, it's good tomorrow, right? Maybe uh, it may change. Maybe this will become a credit-based system one day and then this rank will go down in ranking, in my opinion, okay? Um, so I just want to let you know that things are always changing within the AI space. My my one year of review when it comes to writing, is it worth it? Yeah, it is it is worth it if you have to use a lot of writing. You have to write a lot and excuse me. You have to write a lot. It it is worth it. Uh, it is adaptable, but the the customer service is going down and I'm not sure if that's a good sign. I I, I, I really think that if I find something better than writer uh, I'll let you, I'll let everyone know, and I'll start promoting that one instead. But right now, writer's okay. It's simply just okay. It it, it went from great to just okay, and I and I have to dock points for the horrible customer service. So uh, please be aware of that. I like to I don't like people kind of selling me junk online. I like people just being a straight shooter and telling me, oh, this is how things are, without any you know any kind of Jedi mind tricks or anything like that, you know, or hidden, hidden incentives. Yes. If you do buy from the link, I do happen to get a commission. It helps me out. I, I disclose it within my description and I'm telling you within the video, but, um, it, I can't really in good, uh, good honesty. Uh, I can't really promote this as hard as I did before because the customer service is, is just bad. 
is absolutely horrible. So uh, it, I think it, it downgraded from great to okay. All right, that, that's that's the short an, answer. And uh, that, and if you want to know why, uh, it's it's for the reasons I mentioned earlier. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital Man Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.